back in this video we will learn how we can use this uh, tensor flow generated uh, uh, body picks uh, model actually it's an uh, it's like resonant model by the way and it, what it does is like it's used to do the present segmentation so what as you can see in this image there are people moving around right but this uh, this model is easily able to you know uh, like uh, identify the person is there or not if the person is there what is the position like that even though it's hand movement everything is able to detect so this library you can use it uh, depending on your requirements as you can see um, like when you are doing a zoom call or a skype call right many people used to do a background change change right so that's like the person is not changing but the background is changing so that that is just like a basic example of this body pics uh, model all right so it, it i'll tell you one more example over here so it, so what they are able to you know i told you in a background change so let's see that e they're able to identify the entire person and whatever is not there that is like a little the uh, different image you can put a different image over here so if you want to uh, it's the same thing is happening with the zoom call or a skype call right this is one thing another thing is like uh, there are two types of uh, i would say uh, single person and multi-person uh, there is uh, somewhere they have mentioned i'll show you the person segment mm -hmm. let me search that yeah it's over here so so what you need to do if your image is having single person then you use the uh, segment person if the image is having a uh, uh, multiple persons right so what you can do in that case you can use the segment multiple person the catch is only the response type in case of the segment person it will be having a direct object but in case of multiple it will be an array of that all right so and as in the same uh, github page they have mentioned how to uh, install this library so if i go to the uh, readme page of that npm page i mean to say so you they are saying that you can directly install it if it's angular application if it's a normal uh, javascript application then you can just uh, import these two uh, you know javascript files and like in your uh, header so if you are using angular actually i'll be i'm using this uh, example in my angular application i'll show you that also in just a bit so how they have done just installed it and what you need to do directly this after that installation what you do you just load the model and this while modeling the model you have to just uh, set the initial uh, settings which you can uh, obviously get it from here i'll show you that also mm, okay so it's here yeah this one so initial settings you can put it over here they are having two types of architecture like resnet 50 and the model uh, net v1 depending on your use case you can use either of one all right the second thing is once the model is loaded now the sketch uh, the second uh, the third thing is like you have to use the library which one so if your image or a video frame is having single person then use uh, segment person if you are having multiple then segment multiple person as i told you and i just uh, like a little earlier all right so that's pretty much uh, how you will install it and the response also i'll show you so if you are having single person segment then you will be getting a response in this format so it just tell you height and width and this is the important thing data and you can see the data is in this format 01010 i'll tell you how it works so let's take this example let's say let's say this is the image so what will happen like in the entire image this left side one i'm talking about it so for example the, if i'm traversing from here so it will be like 000 the moment this person comes in the border it will the value will be 1111 then again 0000, 000, 000, 000, 000 till here then again one 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 like that the moment uh, this library detects a person the value will be one of that particular pixel otherwise the value will be zero all right so now using uh, this technique you can use it in many ways so for example you can use the similar thing like is there in the google uh, you know color pop so what it does the background will be gray and the person will be in a color way otherwise you can use crop the image also so what you do you remove the background and then you know uh, have the image only the colored image I, like there are many examples out there as i will do in a zoom call or a skype call right so when you might have seen whenever you're making a call and there is a feature you can just change the background so how it it's just a, one of the example i'm just telling you all right so let's go to that application which i have also built on top of this one it's just like a uh, like i'm just using a library nothing much over here so let me load this image so you can see this is a colored image and one person is over here all right so gray means uh, gray scale so i am just doing that uh, this entire like i am just removing the uh, you know this uh, the color and this putting the uh, gray color over here this is one algorithm which you can uh, you know take it from here i'll just show you that uh, also if you search for uh, like a um, gray scale uh, gray scale algorithm so you will get this one so it has many examples actually it has many for uh, you know algorithms like for example there are many uh, like many people use like divide by 3 and uh, there are many actually they're like um, having this like 0.3 percentage 
so like in point three like that so that depending on your example you can use one of them all right i'll just go back to here so using this algorithm i mean this one i'm using i'm able to do the gray it's a simple thing i'm not using so far the uh, tensorflow library now for the color pop i'm using that so what is happening over here you can see that the background is gray and the person is in colored all right that means the color pop that's a similar thing you might have seen in the google photo all right so how i'm able to do that so the library is giving me zero and one output so what is happening wherever zero is there i'm applying the gray algorithm and wherever the value is one i'm just uh, you know applying the same rgb color and using the same uh, feature i can just crop the image also so what i did just now wherever the zero i'll just remove that pixel itself and wherever the one is there i'll just keep the rgb value i hope it's clear to you and uh, it's up to you how you want to use this library i'm mean, like you can you know use in many ways depending on your project requirement all right that's uh, pretty much about this uh, video i hope uh, i'm I, I try my level best to explain you this library thank you very much